I streamed consistently for a year. I did everything that they said to do, and I had some interesting results. And uh, today I'm going to show you those results. I'm going to discuss what my plan was, uh, what I actually did, and then the results of that. By the way, welcome to my shed. Uh, I game here. You can see my little game station. You can see it back there. I don't know if it kind of... Like everyone else, I went into 2020 with a dream. I thought streaming was the ultimate dream. I mean, think about it. What do you do? You, you get up whenever you want. You go and load up whatever game you want, and you just get ready to play some games, get some people online. Online? On, you get some people online joining you. You get to hang out with them, just play games for hours, maybe get someone to eat or drink halfway through, and uh, make money from it. That's literally your job. That is your career. That, if that's not the dream, I don't know what it is. It was the stream dream. I mean, how good does streaming sound? Although I did learn that that's not, that's not the reality at all, really. Having said that, I still wanted to give it a go. It was still gonna be something really exciting. Even if it wasn't gonna be that dream, I was still gonna be able to play some games, hang out, and potentially make a little bit of money. You know, maybe a second job. I, I wasn't delusional. I didn't think that I was gonna be pulling in five million and be able to quit my job and buy four houses. But I thought, you know what? A second, a second, a small source of second income, you know, a side hustle if you will. Now before anything, I need a schedule. So before I got discovered or did anything, I knew that I needed a schedule. So I set a schedule. So I did, um, the plan was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three streams a week. Uh, I would stream for between two to four hours. Bear in mind that I still obviously work full time uh, and I have a rotating roster. So my rotating roster is four days on, four days off. So the, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday did sort of change sometimes. So the plan initially was ideally in the evening, uh, but then obviously as life dictates, I would do a morning stream, but still make sure that I hit that Monday, Wednesday, Friday each week for the sake of hitting the goal and, and being consistent. Because I mean, one of the things that obviously all of the guru said was consistency is key. You know, in all of the videos I looked up, if, if there was one thing that I could repeat that they all said was consistency is key. It's consistency is key, consistency is key, be consistent. So I thought, have a schedule, have it on the page, that's consistent. They know when I'm going to be there, they know when I'm not going to be there. Anyway, now that I had the schedule sorted, essentially I had to get people to come into the chat. And I know that Twitch isn't a super discoverable platform, so I wasn't relying on people just walking in as such. Plus the games that I wanted to play, I didn't want to play super indie games. I know some people say that you can play some indie games with, what, 500 to 1,000 viewers and you get some sort of organic traffic. But I don't really know any of those games, so I didn't want to just wing it and play a game that I didn't know or didn't like. You know, I, I did want to enjoy it. You know, I wanted to make a second income, but I still wanted to actually enjoy, enjoy it along the way. So, I, I mean, I wasn't playing Fortnite, but I was playing a lot of Call of Duty Warzone, uh, a lot of Apex Legends, some of the PS Plus games of the month, which sometimes had like maybe one to two K views, but I was never in that ideal range for viewership, I suppose. So yeah, like I said, I needed to get discovered. Uh, so my plan was to basically try out on all the socials. So obviously you got your Instagram, you got your Twitter, and then TikTok sort of became popular earlier in the year. So I thought I'd maybe give that a go as well. Uh, but I knew that the safe bet was Instagram. So I gave Instagram a go first. Uh, my plan was initially to start posting once a day, uh, one post a day as well as a story. And I mean, it works to an extent, but it was very, very slow. Um, and with all those other videos, they say, besides consistency, they say networking. So I thought, you know what, I need to try and find some like-minded people, I suppose. So I found a lot of people and followed a lot of people, but I found that they were kind of more after, well, the majority of them were kind of more after a follow for follow. It wasn't really a, oh, you have good content, I'm interested, I'm going to follow your Twitch, and then maybe I'll subscribe or, or donate. It was, it was simply, a, oh, hey, man, yeah, sick, cool, I see you're into gaming as well. Hey, I stream, did you want to check out my stream? Here's my link, blah, 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 blah. And so it kind of went a little bit like that. It wasn't really... I suppose I did get a few followers though. A few people transitioned over from Instagram to Twitch, but it was hardly it was hardly enough to make it big as such. Next was Twitter. Everyone talks about Twitter as being this incredible platform for discoverability, and, and it was good. I mean, it was good in the sense that you could search a topic and you could kind of jump. There was a conversation and you could just jump in, you know. And it was it's socially accepted on this social media for you to just start commenting on people's things and have the conversation and get that going, which was fantastic. Um, and I would post one question a day. Uh, I did that for a little while. I, f I found, to be honest, I found Twitter to be probably the most toxic social media I've ever been on. Everyone would always complain, in which included me sort of towards a point there. And I didn't really like that culture and it was very, very, very far left sort of posts, even in the gaming sort of things. It was, I found it to be really weird. And so I was like, oh, 
you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really going to create a huge amount more content here. So I sort of, sort of abandoned Twitter a little bit. But then TikTok sort of started to become a bit prevalent. And obviously it was kind of like these, you know, these little dances or little lip syncs. And I was like, well, that's, you know, not interested. But, you know, they kept talking about how TikTok can, um, you know, you can go viral on TikTok and, you know, so I started downloading the app and I thought I'd watch a few things and it took maybe an hour for the for the old algorithm to discover what sort of things that I am interested in. And there was a lot of game videos, a lot of pranks, a lot of silly sort of skit things. And um, it was actually really interesting and, and it gave me some ideas. And I thought, you know, I'll start I'll start creating some things on here. Um, and uh, created quite a few videos. I don't know, maybe 200 or something. Like 15 to 60 second videos. Low effort, no edit, real like think of a meme, make a video type thing. It's not, there's no editing skills required. And some of the videos did really well. You know, I think the first couple got like, I don't know, 50 to 100 views. But eventually I got one that go over a million views. And that was fantastic. One million views is, is like, imagine a million people watching your video, which sounds really good. And I got a lot of people liking it and commenting, a lot of interaction. I got so many followers. In fact, from that one post that got over a million, I would say I probably gained 10,000 followers on TikTok from it. But... As far as conversion over to Twitch goes, and it was a gaming relevant post that did that well as well, there wasn't really that many people that made the jump. Uh, not many people were really interested in moving over to Twitch. A few did. I would say maybe, I would say maybe again, 50 followers from it. And they would come in and say hi a couple of times, but that would pretty well be it. There wasn't too many people that would come in and stick around for a long period of time. But it was still better than what I had done so far. I hadn't really gotten anything else so far. So I was actually quite happy with this progress. And so I started making more videos. And I thought, okay, well, I've got one that went viral. I don't know what the recipe was, but I'll keep going. And I made lots, lots, lots. And I ended up getting, I don't know, maybe three videos that got over a million views. And like I said, maybe 150 followers total. Uh, but not too many stuck around. I would say after, at the from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, my average viewership went from maybe five to 15. So don't get me wrong, it was fantastic. Um, however, if you're getting over 3 million views on a different social media, you know, you'd probably expect a little bit more of a conversion rate. And then obviously some of the people that did convert didn't really stick around for long because it's such a different platform. Like TikTok is, is a scroll, 10 seconds, of, haha, scroll, 20 seconds, haha, scroll. Whereas Twitch is, I'm not live all the time, the video's not there all the time, and you're gonna sit there and hang out and talk to me for quite a while. So it's more of a 30 minute to two hour sort of commitment. Um, and I found that the type of people that would spend time on TikTok wouldn't necessarily convert over to Twitch because they weren't the type of people that would be interested in that sort of content. So although it was good in a sense, it was also not good in a sense. I did also tackle the big beast of YouTube towards the end of the year, maybe six months ago. Well, that's the middle of the year. But, uh, you know, I'm still working on that one. I put that one off to last because that's the big bad established beast. YouTube is, is you know, is the top dog. Um, and TikTok gets a few conversions over to, to uh, YouTube as well. However, it doesn't really seem to increase the viewership. It's just simply the subscriber number. They hit subscribe and maybe comment on one of videos, but they don't. A lot of them. I don't want to say all of them because if there's a couple of people in the comments, if you actually if you're in the comments and you, uh, you came from TikTok, let me know below. But I found that majority of them would hit subscribe and then the viewership wouldn't really go up. So I'm just assuming that. So I don't know the fact. I'm just assuming. As far as cash goes, yeah, it wasn't a bad year. Uh, I, I mean, it wasn't, don't be wrong, I'm hardly handing in my resignation next week, but I would say I probably made, I'd have to double check exactly, but including bits, subs, um, donations, I would say probably maybe around the $600 mark, um, which was fantastic. I got some other graphics for the stream. I could get some uh, toys. I've upgraded my graphics card um, as well as my CPU. So it, it's definitely it's definitely helped in that sense. Uh, but what I did find as well, that that revenue, that didn't come from people coming in and be like, oh, I really like content, subscribe, um, or, or donate. There would be such a small amount of people that would donate and subscribe, and the subscribe, the people that would subscribe, sorry, would uh, gift subs. So I found that I would say 70% of my subscribers roughly were made up by four people uh, that were just consistently gifting subs, which was fantastic, and I really appreciated the support. Um, However, if we're talking like a long-term business model, that's far from sustainable. I can't really make that a, a second job. So I suppose the question is, can you still make it into a full-time job? Well, I'm still very early on in my journey. I've been doing it consistently for 12 months. Uh, and I would say that 
it's far from a full-time job, but like I said, I still made a little bit of money and it still improved a few things and it was enough for me to commit to it. And $600 divided over the year, that's like 50 bucks a month. So that's pretty good. You know, what's that, 12, 50 a week? That, I'm not unhappy with that. If you want to really break it down, you know, if it was 12, 50 a week, then that's, and I did what, three streams? So that's roughly $4.15 per stream, so it's just over, what, a dollar five an hour, roughly. So, you know, hardly pulling in the big bucks. But once again, I was playing games. I would have been playing games anyway. Can it be made into a full-time job? I would say absolutely. But it takes a lot of work. I think the days are gone when you can just jump on, hit go live, and play for eight to 10 hours a day, and then make cash money and make it and have your 12 cars and your 15 houses. I think you have to really work. Essentially, I don't think, and this is just my opinion, I don't think you can be a full-time Twitch streamer anymore as such, whereas you'd be a full-time, I don't know, YouTuber or full-time TikToker or Instagram model or I don't know. And then as a result of that, you would then stream on Twitch for an additional income. Does that sort of make sense? I, I don't think that you can just stream on Twitch and then the other things are add-ons. I think Twitch is now more so the add-on. But once again, I am only a year in. Um, there's a lot of trial and error. I've learned a lot. What my plan is for this next year is I'm going to stream two times a week uh, and I am going to be creating a little bit more on YouTube. I've been enjoying the, the, the video editing and the learning to do all that and the lighting, the angles, and the blah, blah, blah. I mean... Don't judge me on this one. I still need to buy some stuff, all right? So, and I'm just chilling in my shed. My lighting right now is the door being open. <laughs> but it's definitely possible. And I, I've learned a lot. And, you know, TikTok, TikTok's fun, though. I, I mean, it's silly, but it's fun. Whereas Instagram, I don't know, it's, it's not as fun. It's a bit more... Like, I'm not actually running a business. I feel like it'd be better if you were running a business. So that might be my downfall because, yeah, every minute is dog post gaming clips, whereas... I mean, well, I've been posting, what, TikToks and photos of my setup, so um, I don't really know what else to do from there, but that's also coming down to my, I suppose, lack of experience on Instagram. I hope that sort of answers some questions, the reality of streaming. I didn't, I just kind of, just kind of rambled a little bit there. I did take some notes, but I don't know if I really addressed what I thought I would, so can you still make it? I think I'm going to make it as a title. Can you still make it on Twitch? Yes, you can, uh, but it's hard and it'll take time, so anyway. I hope you enjoyed this style of video, just a bit more of a chat. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, don't forget to like the video, help with the algorithm, all that sort of rad stuff. And um, I suppose I'll see you next time.